All right. All right. We're live. We're live. How's it going, you guys? Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce, uh, frantically setting up his channel here at the last second. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, how's it going today, everybody? Welcome to the show, uh, Traveling with Bruce. On a Saturday, it's uh, June the 2nd, 2018, second day of June. How are you guys doing today? I uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you're having good weather out there uh, here at Creston. Beautiful sunny day, as predicted, as they said it would be. Just checking my hair, what's left of it. Uh, probably going to hit about, uh, oh, 72 degrees maybe. But that's a, a nice improvement over yesterday's rain and 50, 50 to 53 degree weather. This is uh, glorious. Tomorrow we're going to hit uh, probably close to 80. And I'm looking forward to that too. So very nice. Uh, very nice here in Creston. Uh, beautiful day. Green grass everywhere. Everyone's mowing their lawn all over the place. People are trimming hedges. Now they got the yard work. <laughs> a month ago, two months ago, it was shoveling. Now it's uh, yard work. What are you going to do? Um, all kinds of things going on. I'm just so busy right now. Oh, my gosh. Uh, trying to keep up with everything. Um, uh, you guys uh, you guys keep me going. I'll tell you that. I'm just, uh, just doing a million things here at the same time. This week has been a crazy week for me. I've... Um, Started off with a uh, with a um, uh, a website, travelingwithbruce.com. This now exists. It hasn't got much on it. Just it's got a header and haven't even posted anything on it yet. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, so I got a lot of work to do on the website. Uh, but I needed a website so that I could then become an affiliate marketer, which I'm now officially an Amazon affiliate marketer. Uh, a couple of you folks have put in a few orders. I've seen a couple so far, um, not much yet, but uh, hey, uh, this is a long-term thing. I thank each and every one of you even for visiting the, the Amazon.com uh, site through my link. I'm a happy guy. Um, the links, uh, I'm trying to publish the link on my videos uh, on the description below here. And if you get a chance, uh, check it out and, and see what you think. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Just had to read a quick message. Sorry. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. So uh, I'm working the Amazon affiliate program, and uh, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, one order has gone through. A couple are pending now, and uh, oh, it's just unbelievable. So I, that that I did this week. Then yesterday, uh, I created a new website. Uh, no website. I created a Facebook group. Traveling with Bruce. There's a Facebook group called Traveling with Bruce. So if you want to see my Facebook group page, <laughs> head on over to Facebook and just type in on the search bar Traveling with Bruce. It should pop up and anyone can join. Uh, it's an open group at this point. I will eventually turn it into a private group, but right now, just in the early days, I'm making it an open group. Anybody can pop in and say hi. The point of the group is it's a fix for those of us who are addicted to cruising. Um, and it's the perfect place for any of you folks to say hi to me, say hi to the other members, and share photos or videos of your cruises that you've been on uh, in the past, uh, if you want. I, I've already had a number of uh, of, uh, um, of uh, my folks who have uh, joined the, the group already uh, jump in there and post a couple of photos. Uh, you're welcome to post photos and tell us where are these shots taken, when did you go on the ship, where were you? How was it? Uh, this is a place to share that kind of information. We can't, I can't have you share photos and videos on here while I'm talking live. So this is the place to do it on Facebook. I'm using that site, that group, to obviously promote my channel. So if you know anybody that would like to join in on the, the group, please please have them do so. That would be absolutely wonderful. Uh, and uh, uh, absolutely wonderful. Heather Parsons is asking to join. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be joining. <laughs> I just got, after the show, I'm going to go back to the Facebook page as the administrator and just let, let you folks in come on in and join and join the group that would be fantastic so uh letting everyone know that uh, follows this channel uh bruce has a, a facebook group page called traveling with bruce and uh come on by and uh say hi to me and uh, the gang over there and uh it's a it's just a great way to keep the show going 24 <laughs> 7. i have no life this is my life Ah, uh, my goodness. What else is going on? Uh, 2,112 or 2,113 subscribers, I think, is our count right now. Um, I'm just uh, just thrilled with this. Um, uh, it, it's funny how it fluctuates because there are days where I'll, I'll gain 15 or 20, and then there are days where I don't gain any. Uh, the, the, the count doesn't change. But I'll look at the stats a week later, and I'll go, oh, wow, look at that. You, uh, 
you gained 18 uh, or you know, say 12 subscribers, but you lost nine of them. So you only had a plus three. And I'm going, well, who, who would be leaving? And uh, I'm thinking, well, there are still, uh, there's a lot of cleansing going on in the YouTube world by YouTube behind the scenes, hence why I'm not monetized. They're still doing a lot of cleanup work on channels that, you know, were fraudulent or uh, tried to do sub for sub programs and shouldn't have been subscribing to channels, hoping they would get subscribed on the other side. And uh, I don't play that game. And so uh, if I lose a bunch, I lose a bunch. I'm sure I'm losing people from time to time who, you know, get bored with me and they just don't care for the, the topic the topic anymore. I get it. Uh, it's what happens. But when you're at 2100 and uh, whatever, 12, um, you know, 1% uh, or 2% or 3% folks want to leave. That's 50, 60, 70 folks. That's the way it goes. But uh, they're coming in too. And I welcome all of you who join this channel uh, and, uh, and follow my exploits. Um, and I welcome all your comments and your best wishes and uh, any criticism, of course, uh, as long as you're nice about it, you know, it's okay. <laughs> uh, so anyway, there you go. Fantastic, uh, fantastic there. So wow, what a week. Uh, website, affiliate marketing with Amazon, YouTube group. I tinkered yesterday with this OBS software. I still have to do some more tinkering. I didn't trust it for today. I'm just doing this telecast like I always do on this system here. I'm trying to reach out to YouTubers uh, and any YouTubers who are watching. I'm putting the word out. Uh, I want this show to become more interactive uh, with not only my followers, but also with YouTubers. And so I'm happy to have any YouTubers out there who are doing travel channel type stuff. Uh, you want to be on this show with me? I'd love to have you. Uh, it may be as basic as uh, you're talking to me on my telephone as we're having a phone conversation. I'll just put you on the speaker and... Uh, uh, we'll just talk on the speakerphone, and my my peeps uh, can type in questions and comments to the guest. And I'm happy to expose the virtues of my uh, fellow YouTubers' channels. And if they give me a shout out on their end, that would be terrific too. Uh, I think collaboration is the way to go. Um, the more of us that that uh, collaborate together, I think the faster we all grow. It's just I just believe, I believe it, and uh, I appreciate already. Uh, a few of the YouTubers out there who've been mentioning my channel from time to time on, on their live shows, uh, Alito Loca, uh, great guys there. Uh, I'm trying to get them on the show. Uh, I'm trying to get Don's family vacations. I'm trying to get Don on here. I'm trying to get uh, put a message into Jim Zim today through a video that he did. Uh, I think I'm going to send him a private message and try to see if he might be interested. I, I don't know. He's a hundred times larger than I am. He's got two hundred five thousand subscribers. I have twenty one hundred, but yeah, you, you never, you never know. Um, and I'm looking for others, and so uh, I'm going to put the word out. So, any of you folks out there who are fans of uh, certain channels, uh, let them know that Traveling with Bruce uh, is looking for guests to come on his show. And let's talk cruising and let's talk YouTube and let's talk uh, whatever uh, about uh, how did you get started and when did you start and why are you doing this and what's going on and whatever. Uh, I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think we get, a, I think we'll all get a kick out of it actually. So uh, hopefully we can build something like that. If I, if I end up with a, you know, a, a live stream here where uh, during the week I can get one or two or three guests every week coming on, that would be fantastic. That just, oh, that'd be great. We can compare notes about ships, cruise lines, uh, Ports a call. Uh, what have you heard? What have we heard? Whatever. And uh, I think it kind of be we kind of need anyway. Thoughts. Things are you know things are happening. We're 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 working on this uh, this channel to expand it out. What else is going on? Still not monetized. Uh, I happened to catch a uh, about. I watched the first five or ten minutes of of myself uh, from about uh, the end of uh, the end of March. Uh, I was doing a search on, on something. I came across something in Google, and 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 uh, somehow one of my videos popped up as a search engine result, and I clicked on it just just to kind of watch myself for a bit, I'm trying to remember what was I talking about back at the end of March. And this was a, a, an evening show where I was doing, uh, I was going to do trivia, and the, the show started off with 20, 30 minutes of chatting because of the comments coming from you guys. And uh, at the time, I had fourteen hundred and ninety subscribers, so it's just under fifteen hundred, and uh, here we are, uh, just over. Uh, two months later, uh, 2,100 plus uh, subscribers, fan, 40, what's that, 40% more, uh, 600 out of 1,500? Yeah, 40, 
fabulous. Um, and uh, and uh, I found it interesting. And even even then, I was talking about, of course, the monetization because I we'd only just been cut off from monetization about uh, five weeks ago. At that time, here we are now. Uh, like I said, June the second, I've been cut off from uh, YouTube monetization since Feb twenty. So uh, March 20, April 20, May 20, it's three months and it's going to be the end of June uh, from what they're telling us. And even then, I don't know whether to believe it or not. Uh, are we going to be turned back on or not? I have no idea. There's um, zero updates coming. I have no idea what's going on. So uh, thank you to all of you out there uh, in various ways have been supporting my channel. Uh, you're visiting my sh shop, my Red Bubble store, picking up one of these guys, uh, 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 traveling with Bruce t-shirt or coffee mug or sticker or tote bag or wall clock or whatever thank you for all that, those orders uh, that link is on my channel on my home page on the top corner there um the red bubble store also on the link below also folks have been sending uh, pledges through patreon uh that's a pledge site for creators there's a logo on my channel up here or on my about page and uh, uh some folks are sending me uh, pledges there every month thank you for that and then uh there's been the super chat uh, live on my live streams. Some folks occasionally send me a, a donation there, which I appreciate. <clears throat> Although I only get 70% of the money, I'll, I'm happy getting it. Uh, but it, rather than super chatting, uh, folks have started to take my offer or my advice, and that is go to PayPal. I have a PayPal link up here, again, on my homepage. You can send me a donation 24-7 if you want to, uh, anytime, day or night. I love getting three in the morning emails. You got money. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Uh, 93 to 95% of the funds going through PayPal land in, in my account. Um, it's fantastic. It's instantaneous. Uh, and it makes all the difference. So thank you for that. And so that, and then uh, what else? Oh, Amazon, uh, the Amazon affiliate link. If you shop on Amazon anyway, hit my affiliate link on this channel. Uh, you'll see it on the description here or on yesterday's sh show. You'll see the description. There's a link there. Click on that. I'll take you right to Amazon's homepage. Shop until you drop. Uh, I get a finder's fee for any purchase you make. It varies from 1% to 7 or 8%. Uh, and it doesn't matter what you get. I love it. Um, it's a great way to support this guy uh, without even uh, thinking about it. I just appreciate each and every one of you for all of that. Thank you very much. Uh, enough of that. Um, what else is going on? I got, I got news today. I, I was looking at... Uh, I was looking at uh, today's trivia day, by the way, I got trivia for you, but uh, I was looking up uh, uh, some info this morning about cruise news and that kind of thing. And I just want to make sure that, you know, there's nothing happening out there. We should be, you know, that we're missing. Uh, so, so far a quiet day at sea. Uh, just look at my glasses. They're filthy. Uh, but anyway, um, I took a look at vacationsgo.com just for the heck of it. Cause I, I kind of scan it all the time. And uh, I was looking at like uh, last minute cruises, last 90 days, next 90 days. And then I thought, well, show me, show me uh, all cruises uh, to, to Alaska between uh, say uh, now and uh, say uh, September, you know, for the summer basically. Uh, and so up, up popped a whole ton of them and I didn't care what cruise line, I didn't, didn't care. I just wanted seven day cruises. And of course the cheapest ones that I've been mentioning lately are out of Vancouver. If you get on a ship in Vancouver, you go up to Anchorage a week later, you get off. You can either fly back or you can take a cruise from Anchorage back to Vancouver and take another one week cruise. Well, these these seven day cruises have been on a super deal. Uh, I've seen uh, inside rooms for 360, 370 uh, for the week, each direction. I'm going, wow, you know, it's under like 360 bucks. Uh, $370 for seven days. What a deal that is. I don't care about the taxes and fees and tips. This is great. If you're a shareholder of, uh, say, a Carnival, um, there are Princess Cruises and, and others, you get $100 uh, room credit for each one of these cruises, uh, just being a shareholder. So it would pay you to be a shareholder for Carnival for a little while and just take these cruises. Well, I, I went on today and I took a look at the cheap, some of the cheaper cruises and I was shocked. I found uh, cruises for as low as one ninety nine, and I thought this can't be right. This, this is no way. This. So I looked at another cruise and found another one, one ninety nine. Looked at another cruise, one ninety nine. Oh my god, I got, I got stuff to tell you about this. This is, this is insane. Uh, six weeks of cruising 
for almost unbelievable. I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a sec. First, I'm going to say hi to everybody. Uh, let me pull the camera in. You've seen my logo long enough on my shirt. Uh, you know I'm wearing a Trout with Bruce shirt, um, and I uh, invite you to get one yourself if you want. First off, uh, Tommy Eaton signed in this morning. Uh, he signed in first and said, Hi, Bruce and all, 91 and Muggy in Jacksonville, Florida, expecting thunderstorm thunderstorms anytime. Unbelievable. Uh, this should be outlawed in Florida. They should have that. Uh, only in the evening when you're sleeping, really, don't you think? Peter Heckham is here. Just came back from the beach where the temperature in Tarpon Springs is 92 degrees. <laughs> killing me <laughs> the water was so warm I, it was like a bath I, you're killing me uh going back to a larger beach tomorrow where you can walk for 26 miles wow awesome stuff that that's awesome peter fantastic that is quality of life my friend and uh you've earned it that's fantastic jim thomas is here jim good day to everybody hey bruce so far it's 82 in chico but it's supposed to be um, 11 or 12 degrees hotter today than yesterday. So we'll see what it does. Oh, man. It's getting hot, Jim, uh, for sure. Get that air conditioning cranked up and lay low, man. Unbelievable. Maurice uh, is here. Hello, Bruce. Uh, just two more Saturdays, and I will be on the MSCC side. I'm excited and nervous. I am looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, hopefully, you can talk to us on the ship uh, if you've got an internet package. Otherwise, maybe from the shore. Uh, or or uh, when you're back. Um, the other thing too, uh, Maurice is with my my Facebook group site now, the Traveling with Bruce Facebook group page. You can send photos uh, and send a little updates. So that would be fantastic, sir. And I can pass that news on to the folks on the live show. This is great. He's saying it's 86 in New Jersey right now. Nice warm weather. Um, Paul Wilgus, hi Bruce and all. 78 getting ready to rain in Virginia. Welcome back, Paul. Thomas Henry, how you doing there, Thomas? Uh, hi, Bruce, and all watching you on the 40-inch screen today. <laughs> Bruce is big. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know how much Bruce one can take, but that's a lot of Bruce. I'll tell you that. Uh, Thomas Henry, 85 and very humid in Richmond. Thomas Henry, not sure how to do chat on the TV, so using the phone. Anyone familiar with chat on food on the on the food or on, to, on YouTube uh, on the TV? I don't know. Thomas Henry, also correct. That was F-I-O-S. <laughs> cool jazz. Hello, Bruce. Good afternoon. I'm new to Facebook, so this would be my first group. How perfect. Perf. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Sea Keeper. Hi, Bruce. And all 86 Fahrenheit in the shade here in Tequista, Florida. Uh, damp. No breeze, but very enjoyable. I avoid Facebook like the plague. This channel will suffice to me. No worries, my friend. It's all good. Thomas Henry, let's go uh, to 2,500 subscribers by uh, June the 30th. How about that? By the end of this month, it's possible. Yeah, 400 it can be done. Um, let's see, Thomas Henry, sorry I missed last night that topic. I got to watch the blog replay ah, on the uh, repo cruises. Yeah, the deals. Uh, St Stivex is here. Hi, Bruce. Hey, Stivex. How's it going? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. If you're brand new, welcome as a first timer. If you've been here before and I've forgotten, I claim, I claim old age. It's just, you know, it's the way I go. But hey, I'm glad you're here. Steam and Bean, Rainy Day in Sandy Bay, Saskatchewan. Steamer, how you doing? Promise not to use the word peeps. <laughs> Pretty please. Uh, Stevie Bean, one or times larger. Jim Zim is only like six feet tall. A gross exaggeration. You're lying, Bruce. He's only. <laughs> well, yeah, 200 plus thousand subscribers for Jim Zim. It's awesome. It's uh, it, I, I, that, that is my, you know, I look up there and go, okay. You know what's you know what's possible. You know what is what you can get to. So just keep pounding away, Brucey boy. Just keep going. Steam and be twenty five hundred subs by Canada Day. That'd be July one. Cool Jazz. Did you see Carnival unveiled a new casino program? They even give you free drinks now. Yeah, Cool Jazz. Uh, uh, these new casino programs, uh, I take them with a grain of salt because um, every cruise line has a casino program. Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Princess, All America. You get your, you get a slot card, a slot account. Uh, I've been on two cruises with Princess, and I, I play the slots. I get offers in the mail all the time, and uh, the deals are like, uh, you know, we've got special casino rate cruises, we've got uh, cruise credit for you, a special. I've never taken them up on it because the deals just aren't good enough to compare with what I can buy from the outside. Um, I don't gamble enough, obviously, to be um, you know a high roller, a VIP guy. They don't call me up or send me a uh, an offer where they say, "Hey, how about a free room and uh, you know come on on for a week and help yourself?" Because I wouldn't gamble enough to make it pay. Although I think I do. <laughs> but uh, 
uh, I did get, I do get free drinks on on Princess. If I even were to make a stink about it, I can definitely get free drinks. I mean, I could go up to the bar and say, "Hey, I'm on that slot machine over there. Could you send someone over so I can have a, you know, a beer or a pop or something?" Because I would only drink Diet Coke. Uh, but I gotta say, the last time I was on Princess uh, last year, uh, I didn't see a server come around anywhere to anybody um, until about the third last day. And uh, even then, it was like once an hour, someone would kind of slip on by, and they would walk by quietly rather than, "Hey, anybody want a drink?" It's, it was kind of disappointing, but yeah, what can I say? Uh, it's just the way it is. Um, let's see, Thomas Henry. So I don't know about this uh, this carnival program, Cool Jazz. I don't know if it's going to be that great a deal uh, for maybe you know gamblers of note. Maybe they get more perks out of the deal. I, I don't know. I know that I, I gambled on um, the Princess Sapphire. Um, I think it was Princess Sapphire, and uh, they had a deal. If you had so many points, you get a T-shirt or a polo shirt, and it, it, you had to do thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of play to get a fifteen-dollar shirt. It was nothing to get excited about. I tell you, they, they're making nothing but money. Good on them, Thomas Henry. Uh, happy Saturday to you, Bean, Steaming Bean. Hey, Thomas. Uh, Wendy Thompson. Hi, everyone from Rainy, Missouri. Uh, a, a tree floated down the creek and is on the. On the low water bridge, no way to drive over the bridge. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Matt, hey, Bruce, I haven't been alive for a long time because of work, but been watching afterwards, counting down the weeks until the Symphony of the Seas. Matt, welcome back, pal. Fantastic. The Symphony is going to be a great experience for you, and I expect a full report from you, sir. You can post pictures on my new Facebook uh, group page, Traveling with Bruce, too, if you want. Fantastic, Matt. Uh, the steaming bean, free drinks probably means uh, cheap booze like the crappy champagne at the office. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Some form of Italian champagne with bubbles in it. I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, it could well be. Um, you know, casinos, the good news about casinos is that uh, they make so much money for the ship that uh, they compensate the rest of us for a cruise. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, the bean counters in head office, they count, the, you know, we have 2,400 passengers and we made this much money per passenger overall. Well, yeah, but there are like 200 of them that, you know, dropped a ton of money in the casino this week. But it gets averaged out over the whole ship. And I'm saying, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I'm a happy guy. Thanks for helping to contribute to keep my cruise uh, fair low. And I can enjoy the buffet and I can enjoy the amenities because the ship as a whole is making money. So, sure. Uh, gambler, same thing with Vegas. You got to love the high rollers. They pay for a lot of our, uh, a lot of our enjoyment there. Um, what do we got? Steaming Bean. Bruce's greatest gamble was to ask that beautiful woman to marry him. Uh, I, I got a story about that. I, I got a story about uh, how Jen and I uh, hitched up there. Jo Joseph, uh, hello, Bruce. What happened to the Disney fantasy this morning? Don't know. What happened to the Disney fantasy this morning? Talk to me. I don't hear. I haven't heard anything about it. Let me know what you heard. Um, I was supposed to. Uh, Randy Lucas. Hey, good morning, all. Uh, Bruce and all. Another wonderful day here in Paradise, California with a high of 90 today. Welcome, uh, Randy Lucas, to the show. Glad you're here. Uh, and I know you're a member of the Traveling with Bruce uh, uh, Facebook page. I'm glad about that, too. Seakeeper uh, says something Cripper Swill at... <laughs> Seakeeper is talking about the swill at Princess Lines, the champagne fountain in the lobby. It's just a way to sell pictures with the captain, but there, but there ain't no champagne in there. It's a pretty picture, but don't drink that stuff. Oh, no, Thomas Henry, I am waiting for FedEx to deliver my art from the Stars auction. All dogs go to heaven. Should be here by 4 o'clock. <laughs> Tom Eaton, just post a pic on your Facebook page. Fantastic, buddy. This is great. I'm loving it. Uh, we'll get that thing lit up, and uh, I'm sure it'll draw traffic to this channel here. Uh, talking about Steamer, asking me about, uh, you know, asking Jen to, to hitch. Uh, we lived together from 76 until, um, oh, what year was it? 99. We were just, just you know, living in sin, you know, had our little daughter and uh, and all was well. And then I got a job offer in the Cayman Islands. And um, I was doing my paperwork uh, to, uh, to for my work permit, residency permit, so on. And I had to do my paperwork. I had to do the paperwork for, for Jen and, and for our daughter. And uh, submitted everything. and. Uh, about a week before we left, or 10 days before we were to leave, something like that, about 10 days before we were to go, um, already had our tickets, our plane tickets, everything. Um, got a phone call from, uh, from the gal that's uh, the office manager where I'm working, uh, where I'm going to be working down in the Cayman Islands. And she says, um, everything here is good except for one little thing. I said, well, what's that? She said, well, 
uh, you're good. You're good to come down. And your daughter is good to come down. Everything's been approved. But uh, your wife, uh, they won't approve her uh, residency permit. Uh, they won't give her a residency card to come down, even as a, as a dependent of you. I said, well, why not? I said, well, apparently she's not married. I said, what are you talking about? We've been hitched here. We've been together since 76. This is 1999. He said, well, in the Cayman Islands, we don't recognize uh, common law marriages. Uh, they won't issue they won't issue a uh, a uh, a uh, a residency card uh, to uh, couples uh, unless they're officially married with a certificate. <laughs> so I said, "Well, that's interesting. Let me let me make a phone call." So uh, at the time, Jen was uh, at her dad's place, uh, about ninety miles away, with with the little one. And so I phoned her up. I, I told her, hey, "Here's the deal. I got good news. You know, I'm good. I'm good to go. The dumpling is good to go." Uh, but uh, we got a problem with you. Apparently, you seem to be a uh, you know heartlet of some kind. You know, you're just just persona non grata. Uh, you've got to be married, and uh, you, apparently you're just not married enough. And she goes, "Oh, what are we going to do?" I said, "Well, you know, you want to get married?" And she said, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> and that's how I asked her. <laughs> but we did pull off a neat little thing. We had a, a goodbye party plan that weekend. Uh, about four or five days later, we had a uh, we had rented our neighborhood uh, little community hall, just down the block from where we used to live, here in Calgary, up in Calgary. And uh, we had coming to that uh, event about fifty people who were going to say goodbye to us. And I said to her, "We'll get married there. Don't tell anybody because they don't. They're not expecting to come to a wedding. They're coming to a goodbye party." So uh, I hired a, a justice of the peace uh, uh, to come out and told him the story that um, I'm going to have you marry us on the spot as a surprise halfway through the evening. And uh, uh, let's not tell anybody what's going on. He thought, oh, he thought this is the greatest thing ever. He loved this idea. He said, this is great. I love weddings like this. So uh, he said, yeah, but aren't you going to have a problem with me uh, milling around the room for about a half an hour because they, nobody will know who I am? And I said, yeah, that's right. I got to figure, oh, I know. <laughs> At one time, I, uh, for a short period of my life, about one year, year and a half, I was in the automobile business, and um, I worked for two different dealerships, Once, one as a floor salesman and one as a leasing specialist, which is what I really like to do because I got to deal with executive accounts and so on. And, uh, but in this, uh, the floor, on the floor, I worked at this uh, Chrysler dealer only for like, say, four or five months, and then I got this job at the leasing firm, and I jumped at that job. And uh, so I said to him, you're going to be my, one of my former buddies, sales buddies on the floor. You're a car salesman. No one's going to want to talk to you. This is perfect. I'll introduce you to anyone that uh, you're Fred from so-and-so dealership and you sell cars for a living. And they're, my friend's just going to want to stay away from you because the next thing they're worried about is you trying to pitch them on a new van. So uh, he thought this was hilarious. He loved this. So we went over the plan and this is the name of the dealership and all this stuff. Oh, we had it all flirt worked out. And we did the uh, we did the goodbye party. We did the event. So there were like 50, 60 folks there. My parents were there. And uh, Jen's dad was there. He was still alive at the time. And um, and uh, brothers and sisters and neighbors and friends and everything else. And so it was going well. And this this gentleman occasionally would be approaching. Hi, I'm, I'm Bruce's friend, Jerry. Who are you? Oh, I used to work with Bruce over at Tower Chrysler. <laughs> I'm a car salesman. <laughs> Perfect. No one got caught on. No one interrogated this guy for more information. Nobody was wondering why is why is this car salesman uh, at this uh, wedding? I, I never met I, Bruce. Has never talked about this guy, Jerry. Who is this guy? No one questioned. Uh, they as soon as they heard car salesman, oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. And then off they go and say hi to somebody else. Well, uh, at about uh, oh, I guess what eight thirty nine o'clock, I got up on the stage to thank everybody for coming, and you know it's nice of you to all be here and everything else. I said, but I want to say hi. I want to introduce a couple of special people here today who've come out, uh, and I, I brought Jen's sister up on stage, and everyone gave her a nice round of applause. And I brought my uh, I brought my cousin up on stage, and they gave him a nice applause. And the reason I brought them on stage was he didn't know it. He was going to be the best man. She didn't know it. She was going to be the maid of honor. They had no idea they were at a wedding. So they're up there, and they're wondering, why is Bruce just calling us on his His parents are right there, and uh, Robin's dad's right there. Why? why? So, um, yeah, so then I brought her daughter up. Of course, she's the ring bearer. 
And uh, here we go. I said, oh, and I want to bring up Jerry. Uh, Jerry, where are you? Oh, Jerry's an old buddy of mine. A lot of you folks don't know who Jerry is. And so this guy comes up, and now they're all wondering, what is going on? And, and my cousin's looking at this guy. Going, he doesn't know who, he's, who I'm talking about. And uh, my uh, Jen's uh, sister looking at this guy. Jerry, who's this guy? Uh, she doesn't know who this is. He never heard of this guy. So then I spilled the beans. I said, uh, you didn't just come to a goodbye party. You have come to a surprise party wedding well the whole roof caved in and uh, they couldn't believe it that old oh, bruce is actually bruce and jen are actually going to tie the knot oh my gosh and so we i introduced this is the this is the justice of the peace and that's when my cousin went, oh my gosh i'm a best man i don't believe it and uh, so we pulled the wedding off right on the spot uh, my parents were blown away they couldn't believe what was happening um, my uh, my future father-in-law, he was let in on the secret because uh, he was getting tired and he was getting ready to go home at about nine o'clock and we made him stay <laughs> quietly, took him off to the side, said, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> and so we pulled this whole thing off. 15 minutes later, it was all over. And now we're having a reception, a wedding reception. And of course, everyone there is guilty, feeling guilty that they don't have a present for us. <laughs> uh, I told them all, I said, you can't give us a present. We're leaving on a jet. Uh, in like five days, we can't take any physical stuff with us. Are you kidding me? The only thing we can take with us is money. <laughs> so if you want to help us out, drop an envelope around the house the next couple of days and help us out that way, which a bunch of them did, and it worked out perfectly. So that, that's how we pulled off the marriage uh, uh, all on the spot. Our daughter was part of it. She was the ring bearer. It worked perfectly. We had a great time, and uh, it worked out perfectly. It was a good, it was a good, uh, good event. So that's how I pulled it off. Uh, Joseph Hollyfield, it went by, uh, uh, let's see, Miami, uh, okay, we're talking about this uh, this uh, cruise ship, I think. Uh, Joseph has talked to me about the uh, uh, Disney uh, cruise ship. Uh, it went by Miami at 26 knots and went to Port Everglades when it was supposed to go to Port Canaveral. Uh, uh, really? Uh, Tom Eaton, trivia today? Yep, we got trivia today. Uh, cool jazz, great story. Jim Thomas, sneaky, laugh out loud. Cool jazz, two for one, how nice. Tom Eaton, too sneaky, laughing out loud. Uh, Sylvia, married by default, laugh out loud. Sylvia, 87 degrees, Greensboro, New York, uh, New North Carolina. How you doing, dear? Uh, love your stories. This is the best. Cool jazz. Bruce is a good con man. Must have sold a lot of cars back in the day. I mean, I offered some pretty good deals. I did some pretty good deals for people in the day. Paul Wilkins, what a great story. Steaming Bean, lovely story. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And of course, now everybody wanted their picture taken with Jerry. Uh, you know, Bruce's buddy Jerry now. Oh, yeah, yeah this is great. Uh, after the wedding, he said to me, man, this is the best I've, this is one of the best I've ever done. <laughs> Usually they're so boring. They're just civil affairs. This is great. Uh, I'm going to tell my pals about this wedding. I love this one. Uh, Peter Heckham is saying Mickey was piloting the ship. What's going on? Um, who knows what happened? Uh, maybe we'll find out more as the day goes on. But I had nothing on any of the news sites uh, coming into the show about the Disney uh, cruise ship. I don't know what's going on with that. We'll see what's going on. All right. Now, quickly to the story of the day before we do trivia, because I'm ready to roll on some trivia questions. The Alaska cruise deal. How would you like to go on the Golden Princess cruise ship to Alaska? You can leave Vancouver, British Columbia up to uh, – up to Anchorage, you stop in Ketchikan, Juneau, and Skagway, and then you grab the, you stay on the ship and come back, and uh, you hit the same ports on the way back to Vancouver. Now, June the 9th, uh, no, sorry, June the 16th, pardon me, June the 16th, you can leave Vancouver. You can grab an inside room or an ocean view room for 199 bucks. I saw the prices this morning on vacationstogo.com. I thought this can't be right. Balconies, $399. I thought this can't be right. So I went to the next week, June 23rd, and that's the one from Anchorage back to Vancouver. Uh, inside room, ocean, ocean view room, $199. Pick your, pick your room. Uh, balcony, $399 per person. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's U.S. money. June 30th was the anomaly. June 30th, the inside was $443. The ocean room was $443, and the balcony was $860. But on July 7th, the next one, which is going from Anchorage to Vancouver, $199, $199 for the inside ocean view and $399 for a balcony. June 14th, Vancouver to Anchorage, $199 and $199 for inside ocean view, $399 for balcony. And July 21st, coming back uh, to Vancouver on the 28th of July, $199 and $199 plus $499 for the balcony, 100 more. So I did the math. I added up all the inside rooms for six weeks, $1,443 for six weeks, added the taxes and fees and port charges, 
I calculated it at approximately US about $1,100 for the entire uh, deal. I went to the Princess website and just looked up their port charges for this cruise and Americanized it for you. Uh, tipping, uh, $13.50 a day, two people, that's $27 a day per cabin. That's $1,134 for the whole deal. Uh, but if you're a shareholder of the uh, cruise line of Carnival, you get $600 in cruise credits for, on the cabin. Uh, for the six cruises. So that's 600 off the total. So all of a sudden the net amount to, for an inside room is $3,077 US all in per person. That's $52 and 67 cents uh, for the entire six weeks, 42 days on the, uh, on the uh, golden princess at 52 bucks a day. That's a bargain, man. You, you take that per month. That's like 1500 Fifty dollars a month, something like that. Sixteen hundred dollars a month um, for accommodation, room, and board, and the resort, and the entertainment, and the oh my god, the same price for the ocean view. If you want an ocean view, fifty two sixty seven a night. It's exactly the same. If you take the balcony, it's more. It runs one hundred and nine dollars average cost per person per day, all in, all in with credit. Uh, this is unbelievable. I'm kind of wondering this uh, June 30th uh, cruise that's still 443. I'm wondering when they're going to drop that one, if that's going to drop too. Uh, so you want to spend from June the 16th to July the 28th on a cruise ship for cheap? Here you go. Uh, from Vancouver, British Columbia to Anchorage and back with stops in Ketchikan, Juneau, and Skagway each way. You can do your laundry at a laundromat every second week if you want or every week if you want in, in Ketchikan or Skagway or Juneau, whatever you want to do. Uh, do short excursions. Don't do short excursions. Up to you. You'll figure out what you want to do because uh, you'll get used to it. And uh, that's a whole other world. So I saw that deal today. I had to mention it. I could not believe it. Um, I don't know. Now, I went on the Princess website to see if I could find that deal on their website. Couldn't find that deal. They were talking about a two-for-one cruise special and all kinds of stuff, but then I couldn't find any of those. The site is so clunky. I just, I just hate it. <clears throat> to me, <clears throat> excuse me, to me, if I would get that deal, I'd be on the blower to vacations to go.com and let the agent handle it, or I'd call my own travel agent. But it's the vacations to go showing this deal. So I'd be talking to those guys on their 800 number and saying, is this real? Is this truly a, the deal? Uh, and let them figure it out. But those are the raw numbers that I've come up with. And uh, 52 bucks a night, all in, three square meals a day, entertainment, room and board. Wow, um, that'd be pretty interesting. Just think of the weight you'd gain on a six-week <laughs> run uh, through the heart of the summer. I mean, June, July, wow, I couldn't believe it. All right, um, that is that. I've got some trivia questions for you guys, and let's see if you guys want to uh, uh, play these. Uh, Michelle Lucas, Jim Thomas, did you feel the earthquake in our area? Yikes, get us out of here. I know. Let's go on a cruise. Paul Wilgus, I would jump on that cruise if I wasn't already booked on Getaway on June 24th. The Steaming Bean, great deals. Are there too many ships? Jim Thomas, no, I didn't, but I was driving, so might be that might be why you didn't feel the earthquake. Joseph Holyfield on uh, PTZ TV website. It says the Disney Fantasy had a medical emergency. Okay, Debbie Manuel. Hi everyone. Dang the late start. Dang work got in the way. Going to be over ninety day in Chico. Hi Debbie. Welcome back. Um, interesting, Joseph, on that news. Uh, thank you for that. Um, uh, they got a medical emergency. They're heading him up uh, or her to port as quick as possible and get him done. I guess they figured the best way to do it is get him up there and, and uh, get him out. I don't know uh, what the deal is. Uh, Tommy Eaton, is that Canada dollars or U.S.? That is U.S. money. Uh, from what I can gather is U.S. Still a bargain uh, considering. Uh, but, I mean, one ninety nine for the base fare for a seven-night cruise inside room or ocean view, one ninety nine a one ninety nine a person. American, that is a bargain. Uh, you can't get these deals out of Seattle. I don't see any bargains out of Seattle. Uh, this, I think this, I think the uh, the uh, the bliss is having an effect. I really do. I think a lot of people who want to go on a cruise to Alaska, they see this uh, Norwegian Bliss cruise ship with all the positive press it's been getting, five thousand capacity every week out of uh, out of uh, Seattle. You know, that, that's 20000 a month uh, that were going on other ships last year. They're not going on other ships. They're going on this ship. 20000 are coming from somewhere. So even if this Princess ship is down by 5% in capacity, if it's at 94%, they will offer 199 deals to get bodies on that ship. Get bodies in these rooms 
to uh, enhance the cash flow of these cabins because uh, uh, if those cabins are empty, you don't have two people that could be in the casino. You don't have two people that could be going to a specialty restaurant. You don't have two people that could be getting a massage. Uh, you know, get them to spend on board, but you got to get them on board. Give the room away. I mean it. Give it away and let them spend on board. That's where you'll get them because they'll feel richer. They, they're, they're thinking, I only spent 200 bucks to be here. Heck, I'll go to the casino and lose 100 bucks. I don't care. Well, thank you. Six more days to go. What are you going to do now? Uh, they're going to get their money. Quite amazing. Um, uh, Joseph, I wonder why they didn't go to Miami. Good question, Joseph. They may not have been able to get uh, 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 permission into the port because of how busy it is. They may just not have been able to get it. And so they are hightailing it north uh, to get them wherever. Cool jazz. Can you book directly on vacations to go? Yes, you can. It's an 800 number. Just go to the website. There's an 800 number there. You'd quote them the deal number for the cruise you're talking about or just tell them what you want. They'll find it for you and they'll take good care of you. Absolutely. And, and you're talking to a human being in Houston, Texas. They'll take good care of you. Um, cool jazz. Can you book directly? Yes. Steaming bean looking at vacations to go. No prices like this. Uh, well, like I can say I'm, I found them this morning, all morning. Auntie Jane. Good morning, Bruce and all officially winter here in New Zealand, 12, the low and 15, the high with some rain. So really not too bad. Laugh out loud. Hang in there, Auntie Jane. Uh, uh stay indoors. Keep the fire on the steam and bean cruising with wheels is on the bliss today. Right on Wendy Thomas Thompson. Go to the spa to walk off those pounds. I agree, <laughs> Tommy uh, Eaton. Uh, I think vacations to go also charges around $25 service charge. Uh, they do and they don't. Um, it, it Again, you talk to them, they give you the price. You see the price quoted. It might already be built in. Sometimes they can get your room credit. You don't even notice or know anything about. You tell them you're with the uh, you're a retired firefighter or you're with the police service or your military. They might even ask you up front. Or you tell them up front. They'll start looking for deals on that. Um, they're very handy. I, I've, I've enjoyed using them uh, on several of my cruises. No problem at all. Lisa Moore is hi, is here. Hi, all. Hello, all. She's saying, we're saying hello back to you, Lisa. And welcome to the show. Um, like I said, vacations to go is always worth a look. And uh, I was on it this morning for an hour and going, look at these deals. I couldn't believe it. Auntie Jane, hello, Lisa. I was thinking even at 360 or 350 or 380 uh, for a week, that's still a deal. I mean, my goodness, uh, $350 for a one-week cruise um, in inside room. Uh, or ocean view, um, all you can eat. <laughs> I'll eat that much. I'll eat double that. I know for a fact because I'm not in a. Uh, I'm not in a uh, McDonald's. Uh, I'm in. I, I, I've got kind of four star dining. I would say closer to four and a half star dining at the dining room in the Princess Cruises. Nothing wrong with the dining room in Princess Cruises. Nothing at all. Then on the pool deck, if you just want a burger or a bratwurst, they got the stand over there. You like pizza? They got this pizza thing going all the time over here. Fresh slices. All the time, uh, the ice cream bar is over there. Uh, they'll put they'll put an ice cream in a cone or a cup for you, uh, make it for you the way you like. I mean, geez, uh, love it. Uh, he's, I could live on that for a while. I could I could take that. Uh, not bad. All right, trivia question number one. Are you guys ready for trivia? Uh, how are we doing for thumbs ups? Fifteen thumbs ups today. Thank you, everybody. Uh, if you can spare me a thumbs up as the show goes on, that would be great. Helps the analytics of the channel. Uh, here we go. I got three questions for you today. The first one uh, is this one. A top 20. There are 20 countries here. The top 20 scotch export markets. What 20 countries import the most scotch, scotch whiskey uh, around the world? Tell me who they are and let's see how you guys do. Um, let's see. Thomas Henry, I like doing the, uh, the something adds a lot of energy to get you through the excursions of the reduced inches are not. Uh, I love doing the the in other me. <laughs> I don't know what that is, uh, Thomas. Is it spell check that's getting us here? Seakeeper is starting off with Japan as his first guest for Scotch importer. Fourteenth uh, most is Japan. Um, United Kingdom, Paul Wilgus. I think uh, the UK doesn't count because it's kind of coming from the UK. Uh, so we're uh, we're not on the list there. But oh, they drink their fair share, don't they? Um, USA, Tommy Eaton is thinking the United States, number one, number one country for importing scotch. Uh, seeming being Canada. Yes, Canada is on the list. Um, Canada's 13th. Uh, we only have one tenth the population of the United States. We're 13th in the world. Uh, Sylvia saying uh, China 
She's wondering about China for importing scotch, number 20. They're 20th on the list. I have a feeling, though, they're moving up awful fast. Uh, they're coming on awful fast. Um, Auntie Jane is wondering about Australia for scotch importation, 11th on the list for scotch. Uh, Steamy Bean also had Australia. Auntie Jane, what about Poland? Is Poland importing a lot of scotch? Yep, 18th on the list. Poland just made it. Uh, Steamy Bean is Japan as well. We don't already have it. Ireland is, uh, again, kind of where it comes from, so they're not on the list. Uh, let's see here. South Korea, the Steaming Bean. Um, South Korea, yep, 10th on the list. Uh, wealth being created there, and they can afford it. More and more can afford it. Uh, Tommy Eaton, what about Scotland? Well, that's part of the United Kingdom. Uh, uh, Mary Almeyer's here. She's thinking Canada. Yep, Canada we just had come through. Paul Wilgus, Brazil. Uh, Brazil is uh, on the list at 17th. They're the 17th highest importer of, of scotch in the world. South Korea, we've done, Jim. Uh, Auntie Jane, New Zealand. Uh, you know, what about Auntie Jane? Uh, what about New Zealand for Auntie Jane? Uh, nope, Andy Jane, uh, New Zealand apparently doesn't import enough to make the top 20, but I'm sure there's scotch there. Um, let's see, Peter Hekema, Mexico, uh, Mexico, ninth on the list, 80 million plus people, you betcha. Um, Thomas Henry, Bruce, I am disappointed. That was one of the spa treatments in, in other, in other, in other me, <laughs> I mean, that was one of the spa treatments. So, okay, uh, it's just I did I don't ion. I can't read that properly. I'm missing. Sorry, Thomas. Uh, Stivex. What about France? Uh, yes, number two country in the world for Scotch importations. France. Thomas Henry went with Canada. Paul Wilgus is wondering about Russia. Uh, Russia is not in the top twenty for Scotch importation. Uh, UAE, Stivex, is one about the United Arab Emirates, seventh on the list, all the expats that live there. Uh, Saudi Arabia uh, from Steamer. No, Saudi Arabia did not show. Um, uh, South Korea we have uh, from Peter Heckema there. Uh, Peter also is wondering about Taiwan. Fourth on the list is Taiwan, so well done. Peter Heckema, Germany, yep, sixth on the list. Lots of money there, lots of people there. Uh, Sylvia's thinking about France. We've got France. Um, we've got Randy Lucas going for, uh, <laughs> sorry, I think I lost. No, there it is. Burkina Faso. What about Burkina Faso? Uh, no, I don't show Burkina Faso as a Scotch importer in the top 20. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tommy Eaton, Mexico, we have. Matt, what about Uruguay? Uruguay? Uh, nope, I do not have Uruguay. Um, Singapore, Peter Hekema. Yep, number three on the list is Singapore. Uh, Steaming Bean, wondering about India. 12th on the list for India. Uh, Belgium for Sylvia. Wondering about Belgium. Uh, Belgium does not appear on the top 20 on this uh, list. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Peter Heckema, Spain. What about Spain? Yep, fifth on the list is Spain. So, so far, we have USA, France, Singapore, Taiwan, Spain, Germany, UAE. Those are the first seven. Uh, we've got uh, Mexico, South Korea, Australia, India, Canada, Japan. We have Brazil, Poland, and China. We still have about five or so to go. Um, we've got uh, Spain. we got the Philippines. Auntie Jane is thinking about the Philippines. Uh, nope, they don't make the top 20. Nigeria, the steaming bean is thinking, uh, that is that country on the list at all? Nigeria, no, it is not on the list. I need right now one, two, three, four to go. I've got four to go. Okay. Uh, Belgium, we've tried. Norway, steaming bean, uh, uh, no, Norway not. Italy, anti Jane. Uh, no, Italy is not one of the four either. Um, Tommy Eaton's wondering about Argentina. Uh, no, Argentina not on the list either. Um, double checking my numbers here. Yeah, there's 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 four right there. Yeah, okay. Spain we tried. Brazil we've tried. Uh, Argentina, Argentina, Malaysia not Malaysia not Venezuela, Taiwan. We've done already. They're to the fourth. Uh, China, we've done already. They're 20th. South Africa, that is uh, uh, eighth on the list is South Africa. That's one of them. 
We're now looking for the 15th, 16th, and 19th. I'm looking for two in Europe, all three in Europe, sorry. Three countries all in Europe. Here we go. South Africa, South Africa, Russia. We're looking for three European countries to finish this list. Uh, and then we're done. Um, uh, let's see, Colombia. We got Russia here. Let's see if any more guesses come through. Okay. Um, Monaco. Nope, not Monaco. Um, that's not Europe. <laughs> it's Africa. Um, wait for the delay to take effect here. Netherlands, yes. The Netherlands, 15th place. I've got two European countries left uh, to go. Um, Belgium, uh, we've already had. Uh, Romania, nope. Czech Republic, no. Nope. Denmark, uh, nope. We're not looking for Denmark. Um, what do we else we have? Okay, we're, we're caught up again. Um, I'm looking for a country uh, very close to uh, Finland. And I'm looking for a country in the uh, 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 in Europe that's very close to the uh, to Asia. Uh, Denmark, Belgium, Moldova. Uh, no, no, and no. Um, Hungary, no. Greece, no. Very close to Greece. Very close to Greece. Uh, looking for a country in the Baltics as well. Country near Greece and a country near the Baltics. Iceland, no. Looking for two more. See if we get anywhere here. Uh, Turkey. There we go. Kathy got Turkey. Thank you, Kathy Butler. Very well done. We have one left. Uh, there's uh, there's Finland. There's uh, Poland, and there are three countries in between. And it's one of those. Uh, laugh a lot. My geography is improving. Auntie Jane is saying, "See, you stick around long enough, I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you straightened out. You'll know. You'll know the globe like you won't believe by the time you finish with this channel after a while." See me being Finland, uh, just south of Finland, please. Uh, three Latvian countries. Uh, it's one of the three. Um, steaming bean, Finland. No, uh, Jinx, Kathy. Norway. No, not Norway. Uh, let's see if we can figure it out. Sweden. No, not Sweden. Uh, all in the right neighborhood. I'll tell you that. Uh, Norway. No, we've got. Uh, uh, thank you, Randy. Uh, Randy just sent me a donation on PayPal. Thank you so much. Uh, what do we got here? Montenegro, Denmark, uh, Ukraine. Nope. There's uh, there's uh, three Latvian countries that are right beside each other. Uh, Lithuania is one of them, but that's not the one I'm looking for. Uh, are you looking in a map where you just know your geography that well? I kind of know my geography that well. Yeah, yeah. I, I was a map watcher when I was a kid. Estonia? No, uh, it's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> there's Estonia, there's Lithuania, and then there's the other one, <laughs> Serbia. No, not Serbia. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It starts with an L, ends in a Via. <laughs> Lithuania, we've already got it. Um, not Lithuania, not Estonia, but it uh, starts with an L and ends in a Via. Which one is that? Uh, Ukraine, Latvia. There it is. Kathy Butler has it. Paul has it as well. Latvia. That's the last country. 19th on the list. Lower, lower Slobivia. <laughs> that, 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 you know, under any other circumstances, that would probably work. Um, steaming bean, Latvia. S uh, Sylvia Swan, Latvia. Sylvia. That's great. Okay, here's the, ta here's the final results. Number one importer of scotch, United States of America followed by France, Singapore, Taiwan, and Spain. Germany, United Arab Emirates, uh, South Africa, Mexico, and South Korea. That makes the top 10. Uh, Australia, India, Canada, Japan, Netherlands, Turkey, Brazil, Poland, Latvia, and China. Those are your top 20 importers of scotch. Um, we need a group cruise to Europe to find all these places. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Seakeeper, where slobs come from? There you go. <laughs> Slobovia. They come from lower Slobovia, the slobs, you know. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, let's get another one going here. Um, I want to find out from you guys. Um, this should be fun. Tell me uh, what countries from 1 to 20, uh, tell me the 20 top internet users. The countries with the most people 
using the internet. Now, I did a clue, I did a quiz the other day about Facebook and I've done other, but this is the internet, the whole enchilada. Tell me the top 20 countries that use the internet and let's see what we've got here. Um, <laughs> all over Slobovia, he's saying, I love it. Paul Wilgus, the United Kingdom. Uh, the UK is 12th on the list. 60 million in the UK use the internet. Uh, to uh, uh, Sylvia saying to Kathy Butler, you got that right. Paul Wilgus, South Korea, uh, 19th on the list with 45 million. To make the list, you need 41 million people on the uh, using it to make the list. It's unbelievable. Um, all righty. Uh, Auntie Jane, the United States of America, third place. The United States of America has approximately 286 internet users, 286 million internet users. <laughs> Third on the list. Um, Singapore, steaming me. No, Singapore, the whole country has five and a half million people. They they wouldn't make the list. If everybody used it, they wouldn't make the list. Uh, Japan, steaming bean is thinking about Japan. Japan is 118 million users, sixth place. China, Auntie Jane, yes, you are right. They do have internet in China. 731 million people on the internet in China, but you can't go on YouTube. How about that? And you can't go on Facebook, but uh, they do have their own internet there. Uh, Alibaba is their big uh, website for business. Uh, 731 million in China on the internet. That is massive. Number one in the world. Um, who is next here? India. Thomas Henry is thinking India. India is in second place. 462 million followed by America at 286. So you add China and India together, you're at 1.2 billion. America, 286 million. It's incredible. Uh, that's how many folks are on the internet just in these three countries alone. Uh, uh, Stivex St St got it. Auntie Jane uh, went with Japan. We already have it. The Steaming Bean is wondering about Saudi Arabia. Um, nope, Saudi Arabia doesn't make the top 20. Not yet. Mexico, Paul Wilgus is thinking. Uh, Mexico is 10th, 69 million in Mexico on the internet. Uh, Randy Lucas, Azerbaijan. <laughs> Azerbaijan. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, no, it did not make the list. Despite your spelling attempt, I know what country you're after. Didn't make the list. No, sir. Uh, <laughs> Lisa Moore, China, with it is number one. Stivex, China, you got it as well. Germany from Sylvia. Yep, Germany, no, ninth place. 71 million people in Germany are on the internet. That is almost everybody. Um, France, Stivex is thinking France. France comes in at number 14 at 56 million. Uh, yep, France is also heavily using it. Canada, steaming bean. Canada is one of the world's highest percentage of population users of the internet. Canada combined as 35, 36 million people. You need 41 million to get in the top 20. So Canada hasn't even got enough folks to get up there if every person was on it. Uh, but Canada's percentage rate of usage, I'm sure, is in the top 20. It might even be in the top 10. Uh, that's how infiltrated the internet is in, into our world. Uh, Jim Thomas, Brazil. That is the fourth most... Uh, uh, users of internet in Brazil, fourth highest, 139 million people in Brazil on the internet at last count. Desi Wagner, what did I miss? Uh, Desi, uh, we're asking for internet users. The countries that have the most internet users, the minimum to get on the list is 41 million. That's the top 20. Uh, we're about halfway through right now on this one. Uh, Australia from Auntie Jane. Nope, uh, Australia doesn't even have 30 million people in the country. Uh, Paul Wilgus, Brazil, we just got them. Uh, uh, Stivex, Japan, we've got them already. Steam and Bean is thinking Taiwan. Taiwan is not on the list because Taiwan doesn't have enough population to get 41 million users. <coughs> Excuse me, Mary Ellen. Uh, Shaw has China, and that is correct. We've already got China. Uh, the Steaming Bean, Indonesia. Fifth on the list, 132 million internet users, Indonesia. Yes, sir. Um, what do we have here? Stivex Canada, uh, too small. Uh, Thomas Henry, Philippines. The Philippines is 15th on the list. 54 million Filipinos on the internet. And you can imagine how many of those folks are talking to relatives working as cruise ship people. How many are talking to relatives that are uh, nannies and maids around the world, including Canada? 
Filipinos are everywhere, hardworking, sending money home. It's their number one export, human beings. That's their number one export. It's unbelievable from a GDP point of view. Uh, Kathy Butler, Canada, too small. Paul Wilgus, Russia. Uh, Russia is seventh on the list. 104 million in Russia are on the internet. Very good. Stivex also got Russia. Seakeeper, dare I say upper Slobovia? <laughs> the upper slobs? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness uh sylvia wondering about switzerland uh sorry switzerland's population wouldn't even hit 41 million as a country steaming bean nigeria yes eighth most 93 million in nigeria where do you think all those spam emails come from you remember i i'm related to the finance minister in nigeria and if you send me 50 bucks i'll send you five thousand. yeah that guy all right all of his pals from nigeria stay away from those emails uh, Kathy Butler, India, we've already got. Peter Heckham, I'm wondering about Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam is 17th on the list, 49 million Vietnamese, and that's growing quickly. They're moving up fast. Thailand from Steaming Bean. Yep, they make the list at number 20 at 41 million, and they're growing quickly as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Peter Heckham is wondering about Egypt. Uh, Egypt, I'm looking here. I don't know if Egypt is on our list. No, Egypt does not make the list yet in the top 20. Uh, nope, Steaming Bean, Indonesia, we got it. Malaysia from the Steaming Bean. What about Malaysia? No, uh, we don't have Malaysia yet. Uh, South Africa, we've got, I believe, South Africa. Let me do, triple check that number. No, hang on a second, folks. Uh, South Korea, South Africa. Did it even register? South, South Africa is not on the list. Sorry, folks. Uh, here are the guesses so far you got right. Uh, China, India, USA, Brazil, Indonesia, Japan, Russia, Nigeria, Germany, Mexico, United Kingdom, France, Philippines, Vietnam, South Korea, and Thailand. I'm looking for one, two, three, four countries, uh, two in Europe um, and two in Asia. Two in Europe, two in Asia. Uh, although one of the Asians, uh, well, both of the Asians are kind of you know, quasi-Asian, but nonetheless, they're still Asian. Let's see who we have here. South Africa, no. What? China, no. Facebook, oh my gosh. Or YouTube, no. No, Auntie Jane, no. Uh, you, can't have, uh, you can't have people have their own thoughts. Um, that would be wrong. Uh, you can't have 1.2 million Chinese people express themselves openly as to what they actually think. We can't have that. That uh, would cause... Uh, Social upheaval. We, we, no, 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 no. We'll tell the Chinese people what to think. We, the government, know what they should think and talk about. Everything else, leave that to us. We'll, we'll take care of the rest of it. The Communist Party will handle it all. Don't you worry about it. Relax. It's all okay. We're taking care of everything. Uh, Peter Hekema, wondering about Turkey. Uh, Peter Hekema, uh, yes, sir, 18th place. 46 million people in Turkey are on the Internet. Uh, well done. Nigeria. St Stivex, uh, no, Nigeria uh, is not, uh, it was on the list. Uh, we've already guessed it. It was eighth on the list, 93 months. Poland, Desi Wagner, no, Poland on the list. Germany, we've already got. The Steaming Bean, Brazil, we have. Steaming Bean, Argentina, we've got. Uh, or we tried already, sorry. Um, didn't cut the list. Anti Jane, Switzerland didn't make it. Australia didn't make it. Uh, Steaming Bean, Spain, uh, Spain. Uh, looking here on my list is not in the top 20, less than 41 million in Spain on the internet. Steaming Bean, Germany, we've already had Germany. Uh, it's on the list. Mexico, we've already got. Hong Kong, doesn't count. Taiwan, Taiwan does not guess, does not count. There are enough people. Pakistan, um, no, Pakistan is not on the list. I'm down to three countries, one European country, and two Asian countries, and they're both near Pakistan. Okay, there's your clue. Um, let me continue on uh, Egypt. No, Iran. Peter Hekema, yes, sir. Iran, 56 million Iranians on the Internet. Uh, highly restricted, but they're on the Internet. Turkey uh, doesn't count. Iran, Peter, you got it too. Spain from Sylvia. Not on this list. France from Thomas, not on the list. Steaming Bean, Turkey, we've already got it. Jim Thomas, Mongolia, no. Steaming Bean, Pakistan, yes, Pakistan is on the list. Uh, double, triple check. Where was I here? Just a minute. Why am I not getting it? Uh, Pakistan, Pakistan. I'm sorry, folks. I thought it was one of the countries I was looking for. Um, 
geez, I thought I had it. It was beside Pakistan, but it wasn't Pakistan itself. Sorry. Uh, Pakistan, I'm surprised, does not have the, is not on the list at all. I'm quite surprised at that, uh, being 41 million or more. Uh, but uh, I'm sure in a year or two they'll make, they'll make it. Uh, Italy, no. Iran, we've got Bangladesh. Thank you, Steamer. Bangladesh is correct. 11th place, 66 million in Bangladesh on the internet. Uh, hoping, I'm hoping for that country that the internet will make it more prosperous as the time goes by because i'm sure there are going to be a lot of programmers coming out of there engineers and so on because uh, the way to get a uh, uh, way to get an education um i'm going to back up for a minute and i'm going to apologize uh to um maybe more than one person about the country i still have on my list that i haven't knocked off the list and i want to just double check to see if anyone else already guessed this country um because sometimes i will miss a country uh, completely. Um, let's see here. All right. Uh, anyone who guessed Italy, and we've had a couple of guesses on Italy already. I um, did not knock Italy off the list. Um, let me just check here. I want to make sure I'm right. Stivex guessed Italy, um, and Peter Heckema guessed Italy. Uh, Italy was 16th on the list. That 51 million people from Italy are on the internet. Um, and that actually does our list. Here are the results. It's China, 731 million. India, 462 million. The United States, 286. Brazil, 139. Indonesia, 132. Those are the top five. Japan at 118. Russia, 104. Nigeria, 93 million. Germany, 71 million Germans on the internet. Mexico, 69 million. That's your top 10. Bangladesh, 66 million. United Kingdom, 60 million. Iran, 56. France, 56. Philippines, 54. That's your top 15. Italy at 51. Vietnam at 49. Turkey at 46. South Korea, 45. And Thailand at 41 million makes your top 20. And I'm sure there are 10 or 20 countries between 40 and 20 million each behind it. But these are the top 20 that I see here. Uh, Stephen Bean said, if we set Italy, do we get our money back? No, I'm sorry. I don't do cash refunds. I only do future cruise credits on a future cruise. I've taken the uh, Norwegian cruise line model. It's far more lucrative for me as an operator to just offer a future credit on a future uh, trivia question. Thank you very much for playing. And I hope that the construction dust didn't interfere with your breathing. Thank you very much. <laughs> one more to go. I got one more trivia question to go. See how you guys do on this one. Thank you for, before I say do this last quiz, I want to say thanks for joining me today. Thanks for your contributions to my channel uh, today. Uh, Mr. Lucas uh, sent me a PayPal donation. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for checking out my Amazon link uh, for uh, affiliate uh, purchases. Buy anything on Amazon through my link on my on my page here. Thank you very much. Thanks for getting the swag right here. Thanks for getting this stuff, you guys. Love you. And uh, and and uh, Patreon and Super Chats. Thank you. All right. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the last of the uh, quizzes here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jim Thomas liked that uh, comment about the future credit. I'll give you huge credit on a future trivia question. Here we go. Tell me the 30 countries, 30 countries that are the leading exporters of electricity. What countries are the 30 leading countries that export electricity to other countries? Who are they? Let's find out and see who's who. And we'll go from there. 30 countries export uh, are, are, are known as the 30th largest exporters of electricity. Uh, let's find out who is exporting electricity, number one to number 30. Here we go. Results should be coming in shortly as we await the uh, catching up of the delay. Here we go. Seakeeper is going with Canada. Peter Heckema is going with Canada. Third largest exporter of electricity in the world is Canada. Guess who buys it all? <laughs> yeah, baby. Our friends to the south, the friends that just put a steel duty on all of Canadian steel and aluminum because we're considered now a security threat to national security of the United States of America. And we're selling you guys a boatload of electricity. What if we just turned it off? 
what now? Well, you know, friends are friends, and, uh, you know, we... unbelievable. Uh, you should see the press up here. It's a lot of fun. Paul Wilgus, Auntie Jane, the United Kingdom, do they rank as huge electricity exporters? They do not. Uh, the United Kingdom is on an island, and to export electricity, you need long wires. <laughs> Doesn't pay to lay electrical cables through the English Channel to Europe. Uh, by the time electricity got to the other side, it would have lost a lot of its juice. The United Kingdom is not much of an exporter of, you, of electricity. Interesting. Thomas Henry, uh, Belgium. What about Belgium uh, being right there in Europe, surrounded by all those other countries? Uh, does Belgium export electricity? Yes, it does. 24th on the list for export of electricity, Belgium. See me being Canada, Paul Wilgus, USA. The United States actually does export a little bit of, United, of, of electricity. The United States of America is in 19th place. They're the 19th largest world exporter of electricity, probably a little to Canada on the west side, perhaps, and perhaps uh, to Mexico, uh, but not much. They buy way more than they sell, let me tell you. Uh, uh, Sylvia is uh, thinking about China. Does China export electricity? 12th largest exporter in the world, China. 12th largest. Uh, Kathy Butler, how do you export electricity? Uh, transmission lines, just run the wires across your border into the other country and put it into the grid. Um, Jim Thomas redacted his message, uh, retracted. Paul Wilgus, China, we already got it. Jim Thomas, Russia, yes. Russia is uh, on the list at number 11, just ahead of China. I think the two countries might even play back and forth. Um, the steamy bean, Brazil. He's wondering if Brazil is an exporter of electricity. Uh, Brazil is not on the list. Brazil is not in the top 30 for electri electricity production and or export, or specifically export. They might produce a lot of it, but they don't export enough to make the top 30. Interesting. Uh, Steamy Bean, France. Yes, sir. France is on the list number one. Number one country in the world for export of electricity is France. France is surrounded on the south by Spain, Portugal, to the uh, to the north, Belgium, Netherlands, to the uh, what will be the east. You've got Germany, uh, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Switzerland, uh, and all the other countries throughout Europe. France has a high number of nuclear power plants. They export a lot of electricity throughout Europe. Peter Heckham, I guess, France as well. Thomas Henry, Netherlands, the windmills. <laughs> Netherlands, 14th place overall. Uh, something tells me it's more than just the windmills. But, yep, Netherlands is a net exporter of electricity. Stivex, Germany. Yes, number two country in the world is Germany. Uh, Germany is also an importer of electricity as well. Uh, but they export a lot. Steamy Bean also went with Germany, uh, and he was correct on that one too. Stivex, uh, Japan. Uh, I don't know if Japan is on this list. Uh, no, it's an island, and uh, you can't get uh, electricity to fly through the air, at least not yet that I know of. Uh, so no, Japan is not an exporter of electricity to make a list. Steaming Bean, Netgerlands. <laughs> the Netgerlands. Well, we've got the Netherlands, close enough. Peter Heckema, Sweden. What about Sweden? Sixth on the list. Uh, Sweden is a heavy exporter of electricity. Very much so. Uh, Brazil. Uh, nope. Mexico. Stivex is wondering about Mexico. Does Mexico export electricity? Um, I am not seeing it here. Let me triple check my count here. Uh, no. Mexico is not in the top 30 for electrical uh, electricity exportation at all. I think they're buyers of electricity from the United States, actually. Uh, Jim Thomas, Japan, no no can do. Peter Heckema, Netherlands, we already got them. Steaming Bean, India. India, is India a net exporter of electricity? Uh, no, and India does not make the list of the top 30. All the USA in the dark laugh out loud <laughs> from Celia. Peter Heckema is wondering about Norway. Yep, eighth largest exporter of electricity on the planet. Peter Heckema, Russia, we've already got Russia, I believe. Did we not do it? Yeah, they're 11th. We've already got Russia. Paul Wilgus, Germany, we got them. They're number two. Uh, Stivex, South 
Korea, uh, South Korea with a C. Well, uh, South Korea, uh, let's see here. Is South Korea an exporter of electricity? Uh, no, no, they're not. Not in the top 30. If they do any, they are very tiny. Uh, Valen Martinez is here. How are you doing, Valens? Welcome to the show, pal. South Africa is, uh, Stivex is asking about South Africa. Uh, yes, 13th larger exporter of loss of electricity, South Africa. Stivex, Nigeria. Is Nigeria on the list? Uh, let's see here. Uh, nope, Nigeria does not make the list as an exporter of electricity as a top 30 country. No. Bosnia, Peter Hekema, wondering about Bosnia, Herzegovina, perhaps? No, not at all. Desi Wagner, we need the electricity so we can watch Bruce. See? Hey, there you go. Uh, Kathy Butler, what about Spain? Is Spain uh, known for electricity? Yes, they are. Tenth largest exporter of electricity in the world. Steaming bean, Pakistan is the guess. Pakistan, um, not on the list as an exporter of electricity. No. Paraguay, Lisa Moore, yep, number four country in the world. Paraguay, big exporter of electricity. Iran, Stivex, wondering about Iran. Iran is on the list at 25. They're an exporter, but the 25th largest. Uh, Pakistan, we've tried already. Iraq, Desi Wagner is wondering about Iraq. Nope, Iraq is not a net exporter in the top 30 in the, in the world. Uh, India from Stivex, I think we've tried India already. Excuse me, not on the list. Um, Czech Republic, Lisa Moore, wondering about Czech Republic. Yeah, seventh most exporting. They probably use coal and nuclear in uh, Chechnya. Now natural gas through the, uh, through the Russian import of natural gas, I'm sure. <clears throat> Desi Wagner, wondering about Israel. Is Israel a net exporter? They are, 30th on the list. They just made the list. 30th largest exporter of electricity in the world. Uh, Laos, Lisa Moore is wondering about Laos. Um, no, I don't think Laos has made the list. Nope. Uh, South Africa from Kathy Butler. We've got them. Auntie Jane, Kathy Butler, uh, I was thinking the same. Uh, Thomas Henry, scientists find uh, we can't send electricity via satellites. It's true. Uh, Peter Heckman, Iran, we've got it. Thomas Henry, <laughs> that was sci-fi. Uh, Auntie Jane, can't countries make their own electricity? Yes, but they sometimes need more at peak times. They can't make enough. Isn't that something? Lisa Moore, Poland, question mark. Is Poland an exporter? Yes, they are. 16th largest exporter of electricity is Poland. Thomas Henry, who has lots of hydroelectric dams? Good question. Steaming bean. Sweden. We've already done Sweden, sixth on the list. They've got hydroelectric, and they export a lot of electricity to make a lot of money. Steaming bean, Finland. Finland has got to have uh, 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 exporting of uh, product. And yet, I'm looking for Finland on the list, and it's nowhere to be found. Finland is not on the list. Auntie Jane, uh, we do uh, TH. Uh, we do uh, uh, Auntie Jane. Uh, we do 3th. What's th? Th. I don't know what th says. Steaming bean, Norway. Uh, I think uh, got it already. Uh, UAE. I don't think so. Uh, no, UAE is not an exporter of, of note. Thomas Henry. FYI, Belgium has solar panel requirements for its residents. Belgium. How about that? And I'm just looking for Belgium on the list if uh, if they're on here anyway. Anywhere. Just to double check, they were 24th on the list. Very interesting. Um, the more the more you create, more power you create, the wealthier you are. It's as simple as that. Peter Hekema, how about the Ukraine? Is the Ukraine an exporter of electricity? Um, the Ukraine is not showing on my list at all for an exporter of note. So, no. Uh, Thomas Henry, cool. A. Jane, Peter Hekema, Switzerland. Switzerland, fifth largest exporter of electricity on the planet. Lots of hydroelectric. Uh, Lisa Moore, Jamaica, no. Uh, Kathy Butler, thanks. Andy Jane makes me feel less foolish. Uh, Andy Jane, Kathy Butler, no way, no way you are, you're all good. 
Eddie Jane, haha. TH is Thomas Henry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Eddie Jane. Kathy Butler, fun and education today. There you go. I have right now, these are the results I've got. France, Germany, Canada, Paraguay, Switzerland, Sweden, Czechoslovakia, and Norway. That's your top eight. We're missing the ninth country. I then have Spain, Russia, China, South Africa, Netherlands, missing the 15th country. I've got Poland. Then I've got the USA. I've got Belgium, Iran, and Israel. I am in need of one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need 12 more countries. Um, let's see here. Austria. Yes. Ninth largest exporter of electricity, Austria. That now clean, completes the list up to 14. And uh, I'm now looking for European countries. I'm looking for uh, an African country or two. I'm looking for uh, mainly that, uh, mainly European and, and Asia. Uh, is kind of what I'm looking for here. Uh, let's see what we got. Italy. Uh, Italy. I don't know if Italy is on here. No, nope, they're not. Brazil. We've, I believe, done Brazil. Uh, they're not to be done anymore. Uh, Panama. No. Hong Kong. No. Uh, we don't have those countries. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, excuse me. Four. Uh, five, six, seven. I have seven European countries for sure. Seven still on the uh, export list for sure. Egypt is another country that's being guessed here. Malaysia is another one. Neither are on the list. Um, and uh, uh, do I have one African country? One. The rest are apparently Europe. Um, Malaysia, the Philippines, that's not going to help us. Turkey. Uh, Turkey is not helping us uh, today uh, as an answer, I believe. No, no, Turkey is not on the list. Greece, no. Greece is not on the list either. Uh, Portugal, I'm just triple-checking each one of these every time. No, triple, uh, not on either, not Portugal. Kenya, no, that's not the African country. No, I need one African country. The rest are Europe. Um, I need the country right next door to Czechoslovakia, uh, to, to Czech Republic. The country next to the Czech Republic, uh, <laughs> the Bahamas, no, uh, no, no. Um, I need a country that's next to uh, the Netherlands. Um, I need a country that's next, uh, right near um, uh, near Austria. I need a country that's near Bosnia. Uh, I need a country near near Ukraine. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Boy, I'm calling uncle if you're kicking me in the brain. <laughs> you're kicking James Thomas saying, Thomas Henry, I, Iceland would be good for geothermal, but how to get it anywhere? Exactly. Stored in batteries and then ship batteries. It's very heavy. doesn't work. Peter Heckema, Serbia. What about Serbia? Yes, sir. 26th on the list. That's one of them. Uh, Desi Wagner, Denmark. Yes, 20th on the list. Uh, Slovakia. Yes, uh, Czechoslovakia. The country next to Czech Republic is Slovakia. Very well done. Uh, <laughs> Kuwait, no, no. Hungary, yes, uh, 22nd on the list. Pakistan, no. Nigeria, no. I'm oh, still looking for that African country. I still need a one. I need um, two, at least two more European countries, three, four more uh, in Europe. And I need Asia. I need one in Asia. I need one in Africa. Uh, let's see what we're coming up with here. Uh, Nigeria, Romania. Is Romania on the list? Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, Romania is not on the list. Egypt, not on the list. No, nope. um, still waiting for the results to come through here. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, I need a country that's kind of near, uh, kind of near Kosovo, uh, next door to Italy. I need a country that's right beside Italy. Uh, what do we have here? Morocco? No. Bulgaria? Um, uh, uh, yes, Bulgaria. There it is. 17th on the list. Well done. Uganda? No. Thailand? No. Um, looking for that Asia country. Um, down to now one, two, three, four, five, six to go. Still six to go. Uh, Uganda, Thailand, and Rwanda. Uh, all good guesses, but neither none of them are going to work for us. The country uh, next door, 
to Italy in the north in the north. There's it's near Venice, uh, this country. Uh, Rwanda, Croatia. That's another good guess. I'm looking for a country near Croatia, near Bosnia, uh, near Serbia. Uh, there's another one up there, <clears throat> over there. Slovakia. Yes, Slovakia is the country um, beside um, Italy. Thank you very much. That one got that one done. Uh, we're coming down to like five now. Um, <clears throat> I have a country that ends in the word Stan. <laughs> one of those Stan countries. I need one of those Stan countries. Uh, Romania is another guess. No, Romania is not on the list. Uh, country next door to Ukraine. I need that one to the north of Ukraine. Don't be Googling now. Don't, don't be doing it. Um, I need one of those countries. I don't need Latvia. Um, I don't need uh, Lithuania, but I need the other one. Uh, let's see. Romania, Swiss, Latvia, Herzegovina, Uzbekistan. I'm taking uh, Uzbekistan, number 18 for sure. Uh, that's the stand country I needed, by the way. Um, uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, Kazakhstan. I got all the stands coming now. Here they come. No, I don't need any more stand countries. Uh, I need one country in Africa. Um, and it end it 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 ends in uh, in Q U E. It ends in the letter Q U E for Africa. Um, I need a country in uh, in uh, Europe that's just north of Ukraine uh, and just the west of Russia. I need a country uh, that's not Latvia. It's not. Uh, it's not Lithuania. It's the other one uh, near Finland. Um, and then I need a country that uh, sounds like uh, uh, the kind of fuel you'd put in a lighter. There's a certain kind of fuel you put in a lighter to light a cigarette. What kind of fuel is that? Uh, that's the name of a country. Mozambique is coming in here like crazy. Desi, Paul, Kathy. Yeah, Mozambique is the one, 21st largest energy exporter, electricity exporter in the world. Uh, so they're bringing in cash. Uh, well done there. Good guess, you guys. Uh, I've got uh, two, three countries to go. The country that sounds like you put a fuel into a lighter. Uh, there's the uh, country that's not Estonia. And it's not, uh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just gave it away. <laughs> I just gave you Estonia. <laughs> Sorry, we're gone. We got two to go. Country beside uh, country beside Ukraine, and a country that uh, sounds like um, Butana. Um, what kind of fuel to put in a lighter? Uh, uh, butane is the name of the. Uh, there, there's Bhutan. There it is. Bhutan is the country. Butane. And there's one country left. Uh, it starts with a B and ends in an R U S uh, in uh, beside Ukraine. That's uh, beside Ukraine, just just south of the. This country is just north of Ukraine. Um, and it starts with a B, ends in an R U S. And we'll see if any of you guys get this one. And that'll do the list. If I've got my uh, stripes going across, yeah, I've got it all rocked off. Um, uh, France. Belarus. <laughs> it's it is Belarus. Sorry, it's Belarus. Thank you. Belarus it is. That is the list. Here's the here's the list. The top countries that export electricity in the world. Number 1 France, number 2 Germany, number 3 Canada. And they are way up and way out front of everybody. Uh Paraguay, Switzerland, Sweden, Czech Czech Republic, Norway, Austria, Spain, Russia, China, South Africa, the Netherlands, Slovakia, Poland, Bulgaria, Uzbekistan, then the United States in 19th place, Denmark, Mozambique, Hungary, Slovenia, Belgium, Iran, Serbia, Bhutan, Belarus, Estonia, and Israel brings up number 30. That is our list of the largest exporters of electricity. So that's our third one. We did the top 20 Scotch export markets and the top 20 internet users in the world by country. You guys did very well, and I appreciate that so much. Thanks for dropping in. Check out my uh, Facebook page, the group, Traveling with Bruce on Facebook. Come on in and join. Post some photos of your trips, of your favorite ships, your cabins, uh, meals you had in your restaurants. Tell us a story about your cruises. 
and interact with everybody. It's like uh, addicted to cruising 24 seven on Facebook, traveling with Bruce. Love to have you invite all your friends, invite everybody you can to join the group and let them know they can join in on this channel. So the updates I make on what's going on. Uh, love to have more subscribers. The sooner the better. Please visit my Amazon link uh, from my channel here. Go and shop until you drop it at Amazon. I'll get a finder's fee for anything like that. Check out the store. Thank you for Super Chats. Thank you for uh, PayPal donations direct to PayPal. I really appreciate it. Looks like Costco is this afternoon. We're headed in the car in about an hour, and we're heading to Coeur d'Alene today to head for a hot dog and a chicken bake, get some gas, and pick up some supplies. So thank you for all your help on, uh, on my channel in any way you see fit. I appreciate it very much. And I look forward to seeing you on Monday uh, for my next live stream show, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, hopefully this coming week, I think we may have some guests on the show. Crossing my fingers, I'm trying to put something together, and uh, it could be a lot of fun. So stick around and stay tuned. I'll announce any guests that are coming the minute I know them. I'll post it on Facebook. I'll post it on uh, Twitter, on Instagram, and then, of course, when I title the show, the upcoming show, It'll tell you. If I've got a guest, I'll mention who the guest is going to be. That should be fun. All right. There it is. Thanks, everybody, for popping in today and spending some time with Traveling with Bruce. With Bruce here, it was June the 2nd, 2018. We're on an hour and 28 minutes or hour 29 minutes. That's pretty good. Hour and a half show. Well done on the trivia. Thanks, you guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. And in the meantime, have fun on the Facebook page, the group page, Traveling with Bruce. This is Bruce saying bye for now. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you Monday. Take care. See you around.